Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I would like to talk to you about something what you can see actually on me and that would be this camera strap. Now, first of all, I have to tell something over here. Uh, I have to mention this guy, uh, uh, Ken Wheeler, long live the angry photographer, <laughs> because he, uh, he inspired me to do something, you know, uh, on my own. And he inspired me to do this camera strap on my own. And I would like to share with you guys how you can do this camera strap on your own and how you can have an excellent and sturdy and, and uh, long lasting camera strap, which is pure leather bar, by the way. As you can see over here, it is uh, made for three cameras. Now you can have uh, many options with this strap and uh, you can have two cameras over here on the side. And you can have a third one, a mirrorless, a smaller one in the middle over here. Now, if you don't use three cameras, you know, then you can choose to take off one of these little straps and just to connect these two sides. So, uh, um, if by any means, you know, the, the strap, which never happened to me to fall off my shoulders, you know, but then you can just connect these two. And then it will hold up you know and then you it won't fall off your uh, your shoulder now i have to tell you that um to uh, to make this truck it wasn't really difficult i'm not a i'm not a leather maker at all you know and i can tell you that i i made this truck you know pretty fast it wasn't really difficult now you obviously you need some things you need these things you know these hooks and you need these uh uh, these uh, screws because these are actually screws you can unscrew anytime and you can set you know however you like and you will need some basic tools to do this but generally any person you know can do it in my opinion and it's really really good and really really durable I mean this is thick pure leather it's unbelievably good now you have to I bought all the leather uh, from eBay so I didn't uh, make obviously the leather, you know, but also if you want, you can take, you can separate these two. This is how it looks. And uh, you can separate these two and make two separate slots. Uh, um, sorry, two separate uh, slides or not, not slides, sorry, uh, straps. So you can use like two separate straps like side straps, just like that, you know, you can separate both of them. And uh, you can also make it a little bit longer over here. You can see you can make longer if you want. You have to just make a few more holes, you know, I didn't do it because for me, this is the perfect height, you know, so I didn't do it, but it's adjustable. So you can do anytime, you know, some more holes over here and make it longer or shorter, however you wish. Now, I tell you something, this strap, it's very very thick over here you see and it's also wide so it will be very easy on your shoulders and the bottom over here this is more than enough to hold a 5 kg DSLR you know I mean it's it's uh, it's it's really strong it's a two and a half millimeter almost uh, thickness you know the, the leather the thickness of the leather is about two and a half millimeter roughly two millimeter two and a half now I tell you when the angry photographer made the video about uh, how he did a back strap, you know. I was uh, actually, let's say, uh, I, did, I did want to try myself, you know, can I do it or not? Can I, uh, can I succeed to do it or not? And then I started to research. I even asked him, you know, where he purchased the, the, the leather and everything. And uh, he, t he told me where to purchase and actually I bought them all from eBay, everything, including these hooks, you know, these are pure brass. It has to be brass, it cannot be plastic because plastic can break, you know. You can buy also bigger ones if you don't feel comfortable with these ones, but these are pretty strong, I tell you. I did try to pull it apart and I simply couldn't. So I will place this screen over here, you know, and I will place the video how I did, you know, some parts of the leather. And uh, it's really simple. You will need a few tools. I will place the photo of the tools over here, what you need. You will need a tool to make all the holes in the leather. Then you will need just a, a sharp knife, you know, I use this paper knife or I don't know how you call it, you know, I will place up here the picture. 
to cut the letter, you know, because you have to cut in some places, like you have to cut in angle over here, and you will have to cut the length, and you will... There are some places where you have to cut, actually, and you need a sharp knife, and then you need a screwdriver, and that's it. That's all the tools you need, and it's done. The most important is the, the, the tool which one you make the holes, you know, because the holes, they have to be really, really good, and it has to be uh, the same size like the screw to be easy, you know, to, to push it through and to, to, to put it. Now, you can use some different things as well, you know, the screws are a little bit expensive. You can use these studs, or I don't know how they call it, I think they are called studs, which when you press it and then you cannot remove it. But that's why I use screws, because then anytime you just take the screwdriver and unscrew it and take it apart, you know. So, guys, this is how it looks. I think that, in my opinion, it is uh, really, really good. And uh, even with this one, you know, you can... You can just uh, take three cameras on yourself and you'd, it's, it's, uh, I really like it, I tell you. So I wanted to share with you that you can do as well at home, if you want, you can try. It doesn't cost you too much, you know, it's, uh, it's actually really cheap. Now this is how it looks on the camera, on the, if, if I place a camera, now obviously this is a mirrorless, you know, and this is not a, a DSLR, but uh, you can put a DSLR as well, it's not an issue, you know. So you can, it's not an issue at all. Now, this, uh, this, this is a pretty heavy lens, so it's, uh, there you go. That's it. You can put two cameras on the two sides and the third one in the middle. And you have. So, I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. I hope that you liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and share my videos. If you have any question regarding this camera stuff, you know, or whatever, if you want to do it, let me uh, know in the comments, ask a question. I will try to answer as soon as possible and best of my knowledge. Like I said, you don't need any extra knowledge to do this. If you want to do it, you can do it. It will cost you roughly about 35 euro, something like that, probably about $35. It depends mostly on the leather. Where do you buy the leather? If you buy the leather from China, it will be cheaper. If you buy it from uh, UK or from United States, probably it will be a little bit expensive. But um, the leather is the bigger part, you know, and, and uh, if you can get the leather cheaper, obviously it will be cheaper. But if you want to buy a dual camera strap like this online, it will cost you about 120 euros. So it will be much cost effective if you do it yourself. So if you want to know something about it and uh, or if you want to add something to this video feel free and leave a comment down below uh, like i said i will place this small video over here so you can see how i did some parts of the strap you know i think that it's really good and really sturdy you know i really like it and uh, if you like it please like and subscribe and share my videos and other than that i wish you a great day and i'll see you in the next one take care guys You're a superhero.